Hey, what up, y'all? Now, I said I wasn't going to say nothing. I really was. I, I try to stay out. I don't ever want to be a part of confusion. So sometimes I opt to just be quiet just for confusion's sake. But I want to address something today. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I yield to the Spirit of God. And I ask you to have your way even now, oh God. Hallelujah. No flesh gets glory in your presence, Father God. I'm not here to rebuke or cast down anybody, Lord. But I just want to bring light to some truth, Lord God. So I just pray, Father God, that you be with me even as I talk today, Lord God. I surrender my mouthpiece to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I just want to tell you guys I love everybody. And, um... I just, it's been a quiet, quieter time for me because I don't go live as much and post as much because I never want to be a part of the noise. And it's a lot of noise in the earth. Um, I only want to say what God wants me to say. And this keeps coming to me. So I believe God wants me to say it. So I'll say it. Um, there's something that's happening right now and it's subtle. Um, two things. One, there's a lot of, let's just talk about it. We're talking about deliverance. That's what I'm talking about. I've been hearing a lot about deliverance, people being cat, set free from um, just things that are just in them that don't belong. And then people are, are actually walking in freedom from the bondage of things that's tried to yoke them and keep them um, bound, for lack of a better word, for, for a long time. And I'm trying to keep this short. So I want to go to some scriptures before I hit this point. Matthew chapter 10. Verse 8. Actually, we'll start at verse 7. It says, As ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the leper, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely you have received, freely you give. Next scripture, Mark chapter 16. Hallelujah, we bless your name. It's verse 17, but we're going to start at verse 15. It says, And he said unto them, Go ye into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. This is the word of God. This is the KJV for anybody that's looking. Verse 17 says, And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name they shall cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. He's saying they will cast out those devils and they will be set free. Let's move forward. Mark chapter 6. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Verse 13 says this. Or we'll start at 12. And they went out and preached that men should repent. And they cast out many devils and anointed them with oil that they that were sick and healed them. So deliverance and healing, setting free, all these things kind of go together. If you read all the scriptures, it's not an isolated thing. They all kind of go together. Healing brings deliverance. Deliverance brings healing. Okay? And all that leads into a path of freedom. And I know you Bible scholars that may be saying this, say, oh, that that's the wrong time, or this is the time, and this that's the, that's the Gospels. Let's go in the book of Acts. Let's look at this. It says, for in this case... This is Acts chapter 8, verse 7. Because people say, well, that was when Jesus was here, but now Jesus is gone. Okay. For in those case, and for in this case of many who had unclean spirits, they were coming out of them shouting with a loud voice, and many who had been paralyzed and lame were set free, were healed. It says were healed. This is, I don't know what version this is, but it says they were healed. And I said set free. That was me. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Acts chapter 16. And she continued to do this for many days. But Paul was greatly annoyed and turned and said in the spirit, said to the spirit, I command you to come out in Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, come out of her. And it came out of her. It came out at that very moment. So these are just some instances where there was necessary for deliverance to come. Now, in that time, it was more like immediate. They saw it. They, they, the disciples went head on and they cast it out and it was done. 
I don't know how long it took. We don't know. I don't know. I don't know that level of detail. Um, and now I know some things we may be doing in the present time may be more sophisticated, sophisticated, but we've grown with the times. So some people may have a, um, an issue with the process of deliverance or how people conduct and live deliverance. But if your heart is to see man set free, why do you care how they get to freedom? Why is it so important that you point out um, that the process should be different or this is what should happen or this is uh, this is what we should have said and all these different things. But ultimately it goes to this because we I've made a pretty good case. I believe that casting out devils, healing and deliverance is necessary. But this is the thing that we need to remember. All of us with these platforms where we're able to reach a lot of people, we have to be careful that we're not spreading confusion as it relates to the gospel. Because here's the thing. This is something that the enemy is very crafty at doing. He is good at derailing. Let's look at that. Let's look at what is derailing. I looked up the definition. Hopefully, I still have it up so I can read it. This is what derailing is. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Obstructing, and it has parentheses, a process by diverting it from its intended course. This is a tactic that the enemy uses all the time against the body. He gets us so focused on everything else that we don't realize that the things that we're doing is literally working against God. It's derailing the process of what he's trying to do in the earth. The church needs to come together and have one sound, you know, stop picking each other apart saying this is wrong and that is wrong. This is wrong. In this season of deliverance, I praise God that people are getting set free. However, the Lord wants to do it. Okay. Don't let the enemy get us off course by getting into the minute details of why they did it this way and who said that and, and that's not necessary and why are we doing this. Listen, is the person set free? What's the fruit? What's the fruit of the tree? The Bible talks about a tree that bears good fruit. Okay? If it doesn't bear fruit, cut it down. Measure it. Is it bearing good fruit? Are these people set free? Are they walking and healing? Then what do you have to say? If you see the will of God working in life... Why do you care about the process of how it took place? Come on, Holy Spirit. So last thing, we were at the Deal With Your Stuff conference on Sunday. And I'm not going to share names, but we were in the middle of our second session. And this young lady started to manifest. And we're like, nobody said you have a spirit. Nobody said you need deliverance. We were just in there. And it started to take place. Now, I could have did one of two things. We could have just sat there and let her manifest and hugged her and kissed her and said, oh, baby, and let her walk out there the same way. Or else the commission deliverance team got on their assignment and cast those devils out and she walked out free. Come on, somebody. Listen, it may seem rough. It may seem uh, at the time. You know, it may seem a little different or taboo, but I looked at the fruit of the process and that woman is walking free in Jesus name. We thank you, Holy Spirit. So I just wanted to shed some light on some things. I'm not coming against anybody. This is not specifically to anybody, but I pay attention when something is constantly coming up, coming up and it's um, prominent voices. And they're not saying that deliverance isn't necessary. It's just this vagueness about it. Like, if they need it, what do you mean if they need it? They're bound. They need to be set free. God has given us the authority to set people free. And we've seen it, the fruit of it in the earth. What do you mean? I don't understand. So I just wanted to leave that with you guys. I don't ever want to be a part of the problem. I want to be a part of the solution. I'm not trying to derail or confuse people or set time back because I think something is taboo or I think something needs to be done a certain way. I said, Lord, Holy Spirit, have your way. That's my that's my position. That's my heart posture. Holy Spirit, have your way. I, I cannot dictate how God wants to set a person free. I'm not going to tell you, say it's not enough. I'm not going to say it's too much. I'm just going to watch and see the fruit of it. And if it produces good fruit, if the soul is set free, if they're walking in a new revelation of who Christ is, if they're not dealing with things that held them back, strongholds, uh, witchcraft, all these things that's tried to place themselves on lust, all these things that's just walking around full of lust and all these things. And then people say, well, they're okay. They don't need anything. They, they gave their life to Christ. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I believe that they are free. 
I believe they have salvation. I believe they belong to Jesus, but I also believe there's some stuff that Jesus wants to get out of them. And he called us to do it. He gave us authority to do it. So that's just my two cents, you know. I'm not going to argue about it. I put, I'm put, i putting it out there. I'm going to uh, post this video. It hasn't been posted yet. Um, I'm not debating about it in the comments. I'm not debating positions. I'm just speaking what I believe God wants me to say. So I love you guys. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord God, just to be able to do anything on your behalf, Father God. I'm not saying I'm the know-it-all. I'm not trying to derail your process. I'm not trying to get people to see my perspective. I just want people to say, listen, let's just speak truth. You know, let's speak according to the word of God. Let's not confuse people anymore. And let's not let the, the devil confuse us and derail the process of what God is doing. I thank God for what you're doing. I'm so grateful to God for what you've done in my life, my family's life, and all those, Father God, that's walking in freedom, Father God. We thank you that he that begun a good work shall finish it until the day that Jesus Christ returns. I love you, Lord. I love you guys. God bless.